guys, welcome to a brand new video here on our e-commerce century community. We're going to be breaking down today how to upload tracking numbers manually onto your eBay store. Guys, I don't want to continue without letting you know that we just hit over 2,000 views in our YouTube channel. It would not have been possible without you. So I want to thank the support of everybody who has subscribed to the channel, of everybody who has checked out the videos, who's commenting, who's liking the videos, who's sharing this video with all their friends and people that need it. I respect that a lot. Now let's get into it. We're going to be breaking down once again how to upload tracking numbers manually onto your eBay store. Basically, every time right after you place an order with your supplier, uh, it will take one, two or three days and they will send you an email with a tracking information so that you can track the item that you bought from them. All right. So what you're going to do after you get an email that will look just like this, in this case, it's coming from, from Walmart, right? Remember that when we place the order in Walmart, we use our buyer's information, but we use our email address so that we can get the receipt and that we can get notified when the item has shipped. So basically, uh, in this case, Walmart will send you an email like this. Uh, do not worry. The rest of the suppliers will also send an email very similar to this one. It's letting you know that your orders has shipped and they will also provide you with the tracking information. Okay. In this case, it tell you arrives by the end of the date. And here you have the date which have covered just, uh, for security reasons. And under here, you're going to have your carrier, which in this case is FedEx. All right. You can have FedEx, UPS, USPS, uh, et cetera. But in this case, Walmart mainly uses FedEx as a carrier. And then underneath that, you're going to have the tracking number. So what you want to do, you want the buyer's name, which is going to be here, where it says shipping to the buyer's name and then the address. So with any of these two, either with the name or with the address, you can go back to your eBay, all right, or to your out of the S and see who's the buyer who plays this order. Uh, once you know, uh, once you have already linked both orders, this one and already the order that they placed from you on eBay, once you know who the buyer is, you're going to go to your order on eBay and same thing here. You're going to click this drop down menu, this little triangle here. And then instead of canceling the order, which I explained to you how to do it before, you're just going to click where it says add tracking number. Okay. So right here, click add tracking number and it's going to direct you to a page that looks just like this. All right. Very simple. You're going to have a lot of the buyer's information right here. Okay. Signature description, the name of the, of the item is going to be done here as well. And what you're going to do, you're going to come back to Walmart, to the email that they send you. You're going to copy this tracking number. All right. And you're going to paste it here on eBay after you click here at tracking number, then paste the tracking number right here. And for carrier, just click there. Okay. And type FedEx. Very simple guys. Again, just copy the tracking number here, carrier FedEx. And right after that, just click save. This is the way to do it manually. I'm going to teach you guys how you can uh, automate this a little bit, but for now I do want you to know how to do it manually. So you're aware uh, every time I upload a tracking number, that means that the item has already been shipped. So what I like to do as well, every time I do that, I just click where it says leave buyer a positive feedback and I just leave them a positive feedback. You're going to have a little menu. Just pick the one that fits best for you. Even though I will be going over this in another video, I just wanted you guys know already that right after you upload your tracking, you can just go ahead and leave the buyer a positive feedback. Alrighty, and that's how you upload tracking numbers manually onto your eBay store. Don't forget to leave a positive feedback for your buyers. It's going to get you more opportunities to get a feedback back from them. But there's an exception. There's an exception on uploading tracking numbers onto eBay. And I will be covering that on the next video, which is coming out this Wednesday. So tune into it. If you're watching this later on in the future, just go back to my channel. And the video is going to be named just like that. It's going to be the exemption on uploading tracking numbers manually onto eBay. Check it out. It's very important because if you don't do what I'm about to tell you in that video, you could get your account suspended. So make sure that you're there. Tune into the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate everybody who is supporting the channel. 
who's commenting, who's liking, who's sharing these videos, and I'll see you in the next video. Let's go.